Have you ever taken a trip to a circus and left feeling uneasy instead of entertained? Did the exaggerated looks and mannerisms of the clowns give you the creeps instead of the giggles? For many people, clowns are inherently unsettling, and this phenomenon is known as chorophobia. Perhaps this subconscious reaction is there as a built-in defense mechanism for us. Because I'm here to tell you that the threat of killer clowns is very real. These sinister circus performers may seem harmless at first, with colorful costumes and playful dispositions, but make no mistake, their intentions are far from innocent. There are hundreds of well-documented incidents from all over the world about murderous clowns wrecking havoc wherever they go. One of the most notorious examples from recent memory was the infamous clown sightings of 2016. Starting in South Carolina and quickly spreading throughout the United States, even to other countries, these sightings involved individuals dressed in clown costumes, lurking in public places, and even approaching people with menacing intent. The hysteria surrounding these sightings were unprecedented, with schools being closed and police departments receiving countless calls from frightened citizens. And the fear they sparked remains very real to this day. While the motives and intent of the 2016 clown sightings remain a mystery, we're here to break down the different kinds of killer clowns you might encounter and how to keep yourself safe. This is The Kill Plan. Killer Clowns. Now, it's important to note before we get too deep here that the world is full of mostly innocent clowns who are doing their best to earn a living and genuinely bringing joy to the world. That makes this next part all the more important. Here are some ways to figure out if the clown you're dealing with and worried about is a murderous one. Don't go around punching every clown you see as soon as a circus comes to town. First, take note of a clown's behavior. If they seem overly aggressive or threatening, this could be a warning sign. Additionally, if the clown is behaving in a way that is inappropriate or unsettling, such as making inappropriate comments, this could be a cause for concern. Clowns are incredibly physical when it comes to most of their acts, so if any of them are saying some weird stuff, it's definitely a red flag. Another indicator of a potentially dangerous clown is their appearance. While it's true that most clowns wear exaggerated makeup and costumes, if the clown's appearance is particularly menacing or disturbing, this could be a sign that they have ill intent. Some variety of clowns that we will take a look at later on will be very obvious, while others will do their best to blend in with the tropes that have been established for them. Finally, it's always important to trust your gut instincts. If something feels off or unsettling about the clown, it's better to err on the side of caution and stay away. By being aware of these warning signs and staying vigilant, you can help to ensure your safety in the event that you do encounter one. Once you've nailed down that your bozo is in fact more gonzo than your average clown, it's important to figure out exactly what type of murderous clown clown he is, so that you can deploy the best defense tactics when dealing with it. Here are some types of freak shows, no pun intended, and known examples that are out there. The Supernatural Clown. Prime example, Pennywise. Pennywise is one of the most famous supernatural killer clowns in history. There's no one size fits all when it comes to dealing with these clowns, and have you seen clown feet? They're pretty big. But this shape-shifting entity is known to terrorize the town of Derry, Maine, coming back every 27 years by taking on the form of whatever its victim fears most. It can shapeshift into any form, can regenerate from almost any injury, and uses fear as a weapon against its victims. The Demonic Clowns Prime example, Art the Clown. Art is a silent and sadistic clown who stalks and kills his victims in gruesome ways. He is highly skilled in combat, able to remain silent and undetected. Art's origins are unknown, but he is believed to be some sort of demonic presence with no known remorse or morality. Psychotic Clowns Prime example, Captain Spaulding. Captain Spaulding is a vulgar, clown-faced insane man who runs a gas station and museum of oddities in rural Texas. He is part of a family of sadistic killers. He is highly charismatic, able to lure his victims in with ease, and prone to fits of rage and erratic behavior. Captain Spaulding is a member of the Firefly family, a group of killers who worships chaos and anarchy. The Killer Clowns from Outer Space These extraterrestrial clowns may they look adorable with their bright colors and comical oversized features and bodies, but don't be fooled by their appearance. Their weapons of choice are cotton candy cocoons and popcorn guns, and they have the ability to shapeshift and create deadly shadow puppets. The killer clowns from outer space are a unique breed of killer clowns, with no known motive for their murderous rampages. Other
other than pure sadistic pleasure. Their backstory remains a mystery, and they seem to appear out of nowhere. Now that you know what kind of monster clown you've got, let's take a look at how you can get the last laugh when you come to face with one of these. First up, Supernatural Clowns. It's important to note that Supernatural Clowns are often shapeshifters, and can take the physical form of whatever scares you the most. This means that the best way to defeat them is to face your fears head on, and show them that you are not afraid. If they appear to you as a spider, for example, don't run away. Instead, confront them with fire as they are vulnerable to flames. Another strategy is to use the power of laughter against them. Supernatural clowns feed on fear, so if you can make them the ones that are afraid, you can weaken them. If you find yourself face to face with one, try to make them the butt of a joke or prank. This will disorient them and give you a chance to attack. But perhaps the most efficient strategy is to band together with others who have dealt with supernatural clowns before. They strive on isolating their victims, so if you can find a group of people who have all confronted them, you will have a better chance at defeating them together. You can share information and come up with a plan of attack. It's also important to note that supernatural clowns have a weakness for children, particularly ones that are afraid. If you have a child who is being targeted by a supernatural clown, do not let them face it alone. You must protect them at all costs and face that supernatural clown head on. In conclusion, supernatural clowns may seem like unbeatable foes, but they can be defeated with the right strategies and mindset. Face your fears, use the power of laughter, band together with others, and protect the vulnerable. Next up, we've got demonic clowns. So grab your crucifix, take a shot of holy water, and strap in. Demonic clowns are usually vulnerable to religious symbols and artifacts, such as holy water, crucifixes, and even prayer. If you have access to these items, use them to your advantage. This may weaken the demonic clown and give you the opportunity to escape. Try to avoid eye contact. Eye contact with a demonic clown can be dangerous, as they have the power to hypnotize and manipulate their victims. If you encounter a demonic clown, avoid making direct eye contact and keep your head down or averted. Also, quick note if you are dealing with a demonic clown, you can always seek help from a trained professional. A priest or exorcist may be able to perform a ritual or exorcism to banish the demon from the clown's vessel. Make sure to stay calm. Demonic clowns thrive on fear and chaos, so it's important to stay calm and focused when dealing with the situation. Avoid panicking or losing your cool, as this may make you an easier target for the demonic clown. Take all of this advice with a grain of salt, because our Hellspawn example, Art the Clown, isn't going to be stopped by a lot of the above. With a demon clown like him, you are going to actually have to fight back. Demon clowns like Art may seem invincible, but they still are vulnerable to physical harm. If you have a weapon or a means of defending yourself, use it. Most demonic clowns aren't immune to bullets, knives, or other weapons, so use whatever means necessary to protect yourself. Best case scenario is a magic sword appears out of nowhere and you use it for a beheading. That ought to do the trick. Next up is the psychotic clown. Throw any form of rational thinking out the window if you're dealing with one of these. Let's get crazy. First and foremost, be careful what you say around a psycho clown. They are known to fly off the handle irrationally if anything you say to them can be constructed as insulting or even a little bit of a disagreement. Keep a calm and cool demeanor around these guys and don't give them any excuse to kill you. Next up is the fact that these clowns lack any sort of supernatural element. With demonic and supernatural clowns, you have to find an edge, but these clowns are just flesh and blood like you and I. With proper training, you can protect yourself with weapons and techniques. Whatever your method of defense turns out to be, use it to the best of your ability and don't let your psycho clown get back up. Some psycho clowns also have a weakness for flattery, so if you can distract them with compliments, you might be able to disarm them. Feel free to tell them just how great their blood curling makeup is, or just how hilarious their jokes are about dismembering people. Remember, clowns love a good laugh. Beat these high top head cases at their own game by not falling for their insane mental games, and by going toe to toe with them physically with weapons or anything you can get your hands on. Lastly, we have otherworldly beings that speak for themselves, and I'm talking about killer clowns from outer space. Check out our guide about space invaders for more details on 
how to best defend yourself against these unique creatures. But here's some additional info. Aim for their noses. The killer clown's noses are their weak points. And if you can destroy their noses, you can kill them. Use any means necessary, whether it's a gun, knife, or a blunt object, to hit their noses as hard as you can. Make sure to avoid their cotton candy guns. The killer clowns use cotton candy guns to trap their victims. If you are hit by their cotton candy, you will be sucked into a cocoon and taken to their spaceship. Avoid their cotton candy guns at all costs. Stay away from their spaceship. The killer clown spaceship is their base of operations. If you can destroy their spaceship, you can weaken them. However, getting close to their spaceship is dangerous dangerous, as they have booby traps and other defenses in place. Attack in groups. The killer clowns are formidable opponents, so it's important to attack them in groups. If you can gather a group of people, you have a better chance of taking them down. Use fire. The killer clowns are vulnerable to fire. Use flamethrowers, matches, or any other sources of fire to kill them. So with all of that info, let's review the kill plan to defeat the clowns. Face your fears. Don't let a supernatural clown feed on your fear and band with your friends to take down the clown. Fight back! Take the fight to the clowns directly, and use the forces of good against demonic clowns and their powers. Be mentally strong. Don't fall for any psycho clowns mind games. And remember, they are humans like us. And lastly, but maybe most importantly, punch them in the nose. Be it a demon clown or one from outer space, those red noses are all very punchable. Let them have it. After reading through this guide, you should feel more confident in your ability to defend yourself. With the information provided, you now have a comprehensive kill plan to effectively deal with killer clowns and send them back to hell where they belong. By following the recommended strategies and tips, you will be able to stand your ground and fight back against any clown that comes your way. If you stick to it and stay prepared, I'm confident you will come out the other side alive. Thanks for watching and have a damn good day.